Hey, what's up everyone? This is Abby Amisol and you are watching Home Innoventions. Now in today's video, we are going to play around with Arduino random function and make some cool code out of it. So without further ado, let's get started. First, let's go ahead and run our Arduino. By the way, since I don't have any uh, hardware with me right now aside from the Arduino Uno board, uh, I will just be using the serial monitor to play around with the code. So please bear with me. It's really my habit to to put a annotation of what I what I wanted to do with the code. So first, in the voice setup, I want to initialize the serial communication. And uh, in the void loop, what I wanted is to wait for incoming data. And after that, I'm going to assign the data to a variable. And after that, I will uh, check for the value of the data. And after that, we are going to execute random uh, function of Arduino. So let's now start and assign some variables. So if you are if you look around the uh, Arduino library in their website, we need a variable long to hold the the rand uh, no the the variable for a random function. So let's just call it uh, rand num and let's that's it. Also I will be needing an int button then after that we also gonna need a flag function and I think that's pretty much is it and for the voice setup we are going to initialize our communication for the wait for incoming data I'm gonna say if serial dot available So if you are going to receive a data coming from the serial monitor, then we are going to assign it to the R button function and serial read. And after that, we are going to check for the value of the data. So if button is equal to A, say I, and I use a single quotation because this A is a character, so yeah, rather a string. So if it's A, then I'm going to say random is equal to random number of let's say for example 10 so this will give me a random number from 0 to 10 but if I'm going to be specific like say for example I'm gonna I wanted to define the minimum and the maximum value then I'll go with 2 to 10 for example okay so after that we just want to display what we have just generated in the serial monitor so let's start let's send an a uh, by the way if you're gonna send any any character it won't send anything but if you're gonna send a of course then it will generate now th here you go we have generated a random number seven so again we have generated nine we generated three and so on and so forth but uh, this is quite simple guys but let's play around with the code a little bit what if we wanted to generate 10 numbers consecutively I'd like to make this I, I'd like to create a while function here while I our flag is less than or equal to 10 to generate a random number from 0 to 10 10 times let me just uh, say this to be 20 to uh, generate 10 random numbers from 0 to 20 let me just put some uh, delay let's see for example 200 milliseconds that's, it. that's uh, quite uh, okay so I think this is what you all need 
so let's start our serial monitor so I'm gonna send a oh there's something wrong with our code we have to increment I so that uh, the the loop will stop as soon as I reaches 10 so that's the reason why it didn't stop sorry sorry I forgot about that so let's start again so there you go it generated 10 random numbers from 0 to 20 so let's leave it so I cannot uh, create another uh, set of 10 random numbers I have to reset it so that it would you know start again so I'll just place it right here I is equals to 0 so let's fire it up so there you go okay there's one thing I really wanted to point out though so for, suppose I'm gonna say I'm going to generate again 10 values uh, 10 random numbers and let's do it two times so all in all we have 20 random numbers generated from 0 to 20 so let's just uh, copy this again and paste it in paint uh, my monitor is only up to the 0 but uh, just to show the point let's I just want to close this serial co uh, monitor and start it again so I'm gonna again generate 10 random numbers and do it again so if you could observe if you're gonna uh, compare it with or the paste value what we have generated every time we started our uh, serial monitor it's always the same numbers you can still remember that the last time the last number was zero and it follows followed by 5, 12, 2, 7 and so on and so forth so actually Arino already had a solution for that and that is what I'd like to introduce right now so in order to make our generated values unique every time we're going to generate we have to add a the random seed function Now, the random seed is dependent upon the value of the analog analog input of the Arduino Uno board. I'd like to use a zero. So, let's try it again if this works. So, so as you can see from the very start, you could already see that the starting number is different from the old one. And let's do some another set of random numbers there you go I'm gonna paste it in paint so we could compare so there you go so again let's close this one up and let's try to go back once again so I'm gonna send a and it works like a charm so as you can see it's different now so there's one more thing that I'd like to point out though um, let me just run the serial monitor real quick okay? so in here we have a repeating number 7 a repeating number 10 a repeating number 15 and a repeating number 16 what I would like to ask in this final part though is what if I wanted to create a sequence that has not that that is that doesn't you know have any single number repeating itself I had a solution for that okay for this to work I'm going to need another variable int and let's call it secnum for sequence number is equal to zero I don't know sorry since this is going to be an array having 10 uh, composed of 10 numbers and I'm going to put a value of zero 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I'm also going to need a, uh, a storage for the value that is being generated by the random number. Let's say, for example, number 10. So after we have made our uh, two new variables, let's go ahead and edit our loop function. So what we're going to do is we are going to make an if statement and set num 
and radnum minus one sorry this is minus one equals zero then let me just indent it this so that it would be a lot presentable okay so what this segnom uh, what this statement uh, means is that every time the random function generates a number from 0 to 10 it assigns it to random and after that we are going to use random to define the uh, value of the set num in its corresponding array for example if the random function uh, generates a random number of 1 that means 1 minus 1 is 0 it's the same as saying as sec num is equals to 0 and looking at the uh, values that we assigned, it's going to be zero, of course. So this is going to be our control. So let's say, for example, this is we make we make this one, and our uh, random function generated a number of four. Then if you're going to put it here, it's going to be sec num three, and in this case, sec num three is not zero, so it will. Uh, not execute this statement and go back here and generate another one so i hope i make myself clear and i'm pretty sure you guys are very pretty smart and you got what i'm trying to say so let's make this again zero and uh after that if the uh sec if this if this statement is, is satisfied we're going to set sec num with the array number of given by random minus one equal to one so that in the next loop that if he if the random number generates the same number again this is will uh, this is not going to be equal to zero anymore so it will generate another number and uh, also if this statement is true then let's say number the other variable that we made here our our storage for our generated values number is equal to number i for this specific sequence that you know we set here it's i then it's going to be equal to rand num otherwise it's going to generate again so basically this is oh let's also change this one to number i so let's go ahead and upload it to Arduino. I'm so oh, there's some sort of a problem here. Oh, we lost him. So we really have to follow the side. Random, random, random. You random. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. So let's see if a specific number is being repeated. So one, two, six. All right, we got it, guys. There's no specific number that is repeated. Guys, thank you for watching up to the end of the video. Even though our video is not that uh, well organized, again, the making of this video is, is spontaneous, and I was not really expecting to do this at the hospital, but you stayed up to the end. Thank you so much, guys. And by the way, as part of my decision, decision to revive my channel, uh, there's a lot of videos that I'm going to be uploading sooner or later. I hope you guys watch for it. And please do subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time. Goodbye.